Today we are turning back time, literally. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 de-aging scenes in movies. Put that on. What is it? It's the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. Does uh, announcing your identity on clothing help with the covert part of your job? Said the space soldier who was wearing a rubber suit. That means we're looking at films with the best examples of de-aging. The focus will be on the special effects, whether it's a complete recreation or just a smoothing out of the actors. All right, let's get to the list. Number 10, Samuel L. Jackson, Captain Marvel. What does your mom call you? Fury. What do you call her? Fury. What about your kids? If I have them, they'll call me Fury. Lola VFX and the MCU have built a long relationship when it comes to de-aging actors, but Captain Marvel took things to a whole new level by requiring one of its main characters to be de-aged for the entire feature film. Although Clark Gregg was also de-aged for a couple of scenes, the show stealer was Nick Fury and the special effects applied to reimagine Samuel L. Jackson circa 1995. Lola took inspiration from films like Die Hard with a Vengeance and 187, and managed to seamlessly de-age Jackson to create a genuinely convincing young Nick Fury. A body double wasn't even needed, presumably because Jackson is timeless. I was never one to believe in aliens, but I can't unsee that. Number 9. Will Smith, Gemini Man while not exactly loved by critics, Gemini Man was nevertheless an impressive technical achievement. Stuck in development hell until de-aging had advanced enough to enable an older Will Smith to face off against his fresh prince self without diving headfirst into uncanny valley territory, Gemini Man's crew used a body double, mocap technology, and a ton of CGI to get the job done. While the effect holds up better in darker scenes, Junior is displayed front and center throughout Gemini Man, and rarely becomes unsettling or too distracting. Gemini Man has its flaws, but the de-aging effect is not one of them. Number 8. Colin Firth, Kingsman The Golden Circle No one's sick enough to shoot a puppy! Well, what about you, Harry? You were sick enough to shoot a puppy, do you remember? The big question heading into Kingsman The Golden Circle was how the sequel planned to bring back Colin Firth's Harry, who exited the first movie with a bullet to the head. Along with an amnesia plot point, reviving the Kingsman involved a touch of de-aging, as Eggsy triggers a flashback to the time a young Harry was asked to shoot his dog during training. While Firth did not believe the de-aged character resembled a younger version of himself, the CGI works well within the context of the movie, mostly because the flashback is short and spliced with a distraught older Harry who imbues the moment with the necessary emotion. I've never heard Mr. Pickle! Yes, Harry! He lived on right old age, he died of pancreatitis! Number 7. Paul Rubens, Pee-wee's Big Holiday Milkshake, please. Flavor? Let's say chocolate. Sure. Three, two, one, chocolate. chocolate. The ultimate embodiment of childlike wonder and innocence, Pee-wee Herman defies the concept of age. Putting aside a few cameos and a short-lived stage revival, Pee-wee Herman essentially bowed out in the early 90s. However, by 2016, de-aging technology advanced enough to allow a 63-year-old Paul Rubens to turn back the clock and once again become the iconic character. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Time is of the essence, daddy-o, put the pedal to the metal! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Floor it, worm! The process involved a great deal of makeup and special effects wizardry by Vitality Visual FX, and the effort was more than worth it. In Big Holiday, Pee-wee retains the youthful glow that always defined the character, while Rubens delivers a physical performance that magnifies the de-aging tech's believability. A traffic light! Just like I've seen in National Geographic! <laughs> Number 6. Michelle Pfeiffer, Ant-Man and the Wasp the first Ant-Man had a young Michael Douglas in all of his CGI glory, so of course the sequel needed to up the ante. That is where Michelle Pfeiffer's Janet Van Dyne comes into play, with Ant-Man and the Wasp wasting no time in showing off its de-aging technology. It's going to be so boring, I won't be able to keep my eyes. <sighs> <laughs> While a relatively short sequence in the grand scheme of things, the younger Janet looks eerily similar to a late 80s, early 90s era Pfeiffer, and the effect holds up even after a few close-ups. Haley Lovett served as Pfeiffer's body double, and with a great deal of help from CGI, became a young wasp. Knowing she'd be lost in the quantum realm. Alone, afraid, gone forever. Number 5. Hugh Jackman, Logan You best stay where you are, pal. I'm the law out here. 
Since Logan sought to deliver a more grounded superhero flick, if handled poorly, Wolverine's more youthful clone could have broken the film's sense of realism. Imagine Engine created a digi-double for Logan that was used throughout the movie, including the X-24 scenes. The special effects standout moment is probably X-24's full introduction, as Logan and the clone have a face-off that directly compares the real deal with the de-aged version. Logan went a long way in showing how far de-aging has come since the days of X-Men The Last Stand. Did you think you were the only one of your kind, young lady? We are mutants, Jean. We are like you. Number 4. Sean Young, Blade Runner 2049 Released 35 years after the original, Blade Runner 2049 features various familiar faces, although none is as surprising as Sean Young's forever young Rachel. Have you ever retired a human by mistake? No. But in your position, that is a risk. While the scene is rather short, Deckard's forced reunion with a clone of Rachel required months upon months of work to put together. The effort paid off, creating one of Blade Runner 2049's most emotionally effective and visually impressive scenes. Rachel looks almost exactly as she did in the original Blade Runner, particularly when the character is first revealed to a stunned Deckard. Any inconsistencies also complement Rachel's arc in the sequel, as the clone is just a shadow of the original version. Don't you love me? Number 3. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci, The Irishman You don't know that they're hounding me? They're looking at everything I do, and you let this happen in public?! Martin Scorsese's The Irishman took on the monumental task of de-aging its three main performers, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci, while telling a story that spans decades. Considering the film lasts more than three hours, unsurprisingly, certain scenes work better than others. Nevertheless, the de-aging is mostly unobtrusive, which is the goal of most special effects. While the Irishman couldn't make De Niro move like a gangster in his 30s, the majority of the film consists of conversational and low-key scenes that were more accommodating for the de-aging process. So the kids go back and forth with no problem. Keep your family close. Keep an eye on that anyway, I'm just telling you, you know. The Irishman's effects took around two years to complete and required the construction of a special camera. Our friend speaks very highly of you. Thank you. He's not an easy man to please. Well, I do my best. Number 2. Kurt Russell, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Marvel has not shied away from de-aging actors, but few attempts worked as well as Kurt Russell's flashback in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. During a sequence showing Ego's time on Earth with Star-Lord's mother, a 66-year-old Russell successfully shaves off around three decades, a process that required a ton of makeup, a body double, and months of visual effects work. My heart is yours, Meredith Quill. I can't believe I fell in love with a space man. From the way the scene is filmed to Russell's wig, nearly everything in this flashback comes together to ensure the de-aging effect is flawless. Russell's natural charisma also goes a long way in making this scene convincing. And soon, it'll be everywhere, all across the universe. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Robert Downey Jr., Captain America Civil War Do me a favor, try not to burn the house down before Monday. Okay, so it's Monday. That is good to know. I will plan my toga party accordingly. Captain America Civil War de-ages Robert Downey Jr. for a one-shot scene that reimagines Tony Stark's last moments with his parents. With no cuts and an extended close-up on the young Stark's face, the de-aging effect is presented front and center throughout the sequence. While Downey Jr. does resemble his early 90s self, the scene's context within the film, that Tony himself created this therapeutic flashback as a demonstration of Stark Industries' capabilities, greatly enhances the credibility of the moment. Removed from context, Civil War's scene serves as one of the best showcases of the potential of de-aging. Plus $611 million for my little therapeutic experiment. No one in their right mind would have ever funded it. And the intro is, today we are turning back time, literally, and I just want to be like, turn back time! I can't be sure. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, tell me you watch Will and Grace. You know what I'm doing? Okay, good. You laughed at me in my, in my outro. Do you think that, like, one day they'll come up with some tech where they can, like, de-age you in person? Trippy. All right, so tell us which de-aging scene you think is the best in the comments. 
or come tell me on my YouTube channel or on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayden. Also, please watch this other video.